So, David Hay KOs um, Derek Chisora in seven rounds. First of all, what a great, what a good fight that was. It was a very, very good fight. Um, credit to both guys for fighting. I said a lot of stuff about David Hay before this fight. I said that he couldn't fight on the inside. I said I didn't think he, he hit hard enough as a heavyweight. Um, I didn't think he had the guts. Um, I even got to a point of calling him the hype maker. Um, and for the first time, you know, I'm really, i got to say, all the credit in the world to David Hay. I gave it, I said a lot about things about him, like I said, I said a lot of nasty things about him, or things that I didn't think, and still things that I, I, I don't particularly like in terms of, you know, the way he's fought. But tonight he's fought with guts and heart, and he had to do that tonight, I think. He had to stand and fight with Chisora tonight, because if he didn't, um, the, the fans wouldn't have accepted it. Um, it's a good fight, um, and I'm, I've got no problems um, giving David the credit where, he's, where he deserves. So he's done very well, um, and I was proved wrong. Um, and again, it's learning for me as well. I, um, I, I really did feel that David or Derek would win the fight. I felt that he was the better fighter, but you know, coupled with that being a better fighter, the one thing is David Hansby was pretty good, as we knew it would be. Um, David did look. He looked like he was tiring, but, you know, we'll never know um, what would happen if the fight had gone on. It's all in the past now. The fight's been done. Congratulations once again to David Hay. As for Derek Chisora, well, um, took a lot of good big shots. Um, he, needs, he needs to go away and take a serious think about his career now in terms of what he's going to do now. Um... Not quite sure what to suggest for him at the moment. But um and you go back and take a look at the fight. I think there are areas. The first thing is when he when he was in close, I was surprised he didn't let his hands go as much as he should have done. Every time he backed David to the ropes, he didn't let his hands go. You know, you can always keep saying that he's lacking experience, but you know, um when he got him to the ropes, that's where Derek should have unloaded. He didn't. Um David you know, I, the other thing I didn't say, I, I never thought David would knock um, Chisora down the way he did. He did, which, uh, you know, it's sort of slightly humbling. But the thing about it as well is I'm still learning as a as a, a boxing fan that, you know, anybody can get hit and hurt no matter how good their chin is. Um, and uh, David, Derek took a hell of a lot of shots in that fight. A hell of a lot of shots. Um, so, again, congratulations to Mr. David Hay. Um, I'm not so sure about a Klitschko fight. Um, I don't, you know, fighting some Yearn height fine. I'm not sure about a Klitschko fight. But, you know, the revitalised you might do something different. Who knows? Again, you'll be punching upwards again. Will you be able to carry the same power you've used tonight against Chizora, against a Klitschko? Who knows? Will you get a return against Vladimir? Who knows? Um. That's really. Congratulations once again to David Hay. Uh, congratulations to, to Dirk Chisora. Glad to see the two guys have sort of made up. And, uh, you know, publicly. And it's good. And I'm glad to see it. And it's good for the uh, British boxing. Things can go on now in terms of uh, no more talking about Munich and, 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 and it being a black eye for boxing. Guys have done well. It's been a good show tonight at Box Nation. The quality wasn't great. Um, but you know, yes, what everyone went to see was Chisora and Hay, so yeah. So, once again, congratulations to David Hay, the Haymaker. Um, well done, buddy. Okay, that's me.